me again welcome back to Rex Amelia Rex and if you are new hello to you too my name is Amelia we do all kinds of videos on this channel everything from beauty to fashion to food to travel and we weekly vlog every Tuesday at 7 so if you like my face if you enjoyed this video click the subscribe button and stick around for a while so tonight I'm actually going out shock horror I feel like I do these videos on the very rare occasions where I do actually put makeup on do my hair get all dressed up and actually head outside the house um, but I'm going to a cocktail making class and it's actually a singles event cocktail making class so I guess this is also like a first date look as well I might meet Prince Charming now quite obviously I'm not a makeup professional a hair professional or a fashion professional but if you guys want to see how I do my makeup how I do my hair and how I style myself for a night out then keep watching so I've already put my base on. I am currently using the Benefit Total Moisture Moisturiser and the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate Oil. I use those two together. My skin absolutely loves them. And I've got my perfume on, which I'm wearing Givenchy Le Secret Angel or Demon. Uh, and it's nearly run out. It's my favourite perfume ever. So I thought I'd put this on because I just, I love the smell. It's like super sweet and floral and it's just really light and beautiful. I like it. It's a lovely perfume. So there you go. That's my recommendation. <laughs> My base is nicely sunk in. I'm going to go in with my primer and today I'm going to be using the Arborian Bamboo Glow Primer. I love Arborian primers. Oh my goodness. They're incredible. They're like Korean skincare um, but made in France I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know what I'm on about but um, I love their products. I've tried loads of their primers and they're just beautiful. Like they sink into your skin. They give you that baby effect kind of look to your face they smell incredible and this one is especially good for giving you a bit of a glue so foundation i'm going for my usual trio which have nearly run out so i need to go foundation shopping if anyone's got any suggestions for a medium coverage foundation that wears pretty well and is a little bit glowy leave me a comment down below but i'm using a combination of the rimmel match perfection and the nip and fab fond de tente uh in 25 because that one's a little bit darker and i do have a little bit of a tan at the moment believe it or not um so i just need that for the color and that for the coverage it works somehow oh my god i really do need to go foundation shopping so you see my fantastic very professional technique of just slapping it all on my face and then rubbing it together um, I'm also adding in a little bit of the Kiko Less Is Better Fluid Highlighter. I don't think they do this anymore, guys, which I'm very sad about because, as you can see, I've nearly run out as well. However, Barry M do a liquid highlighter, which is a brilliant dupe for this, a lot cheaper, and it goes on very, very nicely and mixes in nicely with foundation to give you a bit of a glow. So that is a good little top tip if you can get your hands on that Barry M version. So I'm just smashing this all together <laughs> with the Zoeva 104 buffer brush, which is actually very, very good. And I'm using circular motions just to sort of mix it all together. And of course, taking it down my neck a little bit as well. So it blends nicely. And I'm going to go under with the Boing Brightening Concealer underneath my eyes because they are baggy as hell. Oh my goodness been too hot to sleep recently and this is also in number one which is one shade lighter than my skin tone as well contour right i'm using the kevin o'quan palette which i've had for years and i really need a new one um it's just one of the best contouring palettes i've ever had and used it's just such a lovely shade and then this brush is the fluid arc brush from zoeva and it is perfect for contour oh my goodness this is like a dream combo so i tend to stick this on just underneath where my um cheekbone is you just go around the edges of your face because the darker areas we want to push them back and with the highlight we want to bring things forward so i go around the top of my forehead because i feel like i've got a big forehead <laughs> and then underneath the cheeks and underneath the chin because it just gives you a little bit more structure and then I'm just going back in with my foundation brush without putting any more product in and just sort of gently um, going over it in a circular motion to kind of blend it in I'm going to go with hula on the tops of my cheeks and around where we've just put the contour on the forehead and then I'm going to stick Hoola Light on top because I think it's got a really lovely colour to it. Use a spoodie first. 
just to brush up the hairs on the eyebrows. The eyebrows are still looking pretty good because I tinted them not so long ago. I've also got a video if you want to learn how to tint your own eyebrows at home. It's super easy to do. So um, I will link that if you want to go and check that out. Uh, but they just need a little bit of filling in at the moment. So we're not going to go too heavy. Now I'm going to wear one of this season's hottest trends. Check me out. Pretending like I know fashion. The animal print. So for my eyes, I kind of want to go for a gold, um, goldy brown sort of smoky eye with a little bit of rose gold in. So I'm going to start with the Naked 2 palette and just the plain... Um, matte beige colour from there just to give me a nice little base to start. Right now I'm just going to go all over the lid with Half Baked which is a beautiful gold colour. And now I'm going to use one of two colours. I've got a cheap kind of dupe from NYX and I've also got MAC Expensive Pink and both of these are a nice rose gold colour. The MAC one's a little bit more red, this one's more of a brown. So I think I'm going to go in with the NYX one first or NYX or whatever it's called. It is a little bit cheaper because mine has completely fallen apart and I've barely used it. However, the colour payoff is beautiful. And I'm just sticking this more on the centre of my eyelid. And then use the MAC Expensive Pink over the top of that. I must admit the payoff on the MAC colours are a lot better. But they are a lot more expensive. So if you wanted a cheaper dupe than the, the NYX one's pretty good. And then for the brown of the smoky eye, um, I've actually got a, a Zoeva Spectrum palette, which is the brow spectrum. And you can see it's got loads of like matte browns in. Now, this is designed to be used on your brows, but it's actually really good for a smoky eye if you want some more matte colours, which I do tend to go for. So I'm going for the brown 60, which is kind of like a warm, dark brown. Um, but again, you can just go for any that you've got in your drawer and I'm just using that in the crease just to darken up the crease a little bit and take a little bit of the shimmer away from there. And then I'm going to go in with the dark dark colour which is BR30 but very very gently. Don't want too much of this one in there and just take that one right on the inner crease in the outer corner just to sort of darken that a little bit there. I always find these tutorials really difficult because you don't know how much people know. So some people are going to be sat there thinking, God, this is basic stuff. And then other people are going to be thinking, oh my God, slow down. This is too difficult. So yeah, it's never going to be super high tech with me because I'm not super high tech with makeup. But I'd say this is moderate level. I don't know. Eyeliner now. I am currently using the MAC Liquid Lash Liner. With Liquid Liner, I tend to follow the line of my upper lash line and try and start off with the line there then um draw like a little wedge in if that makes sense and then i go from the inner corner to the center and just connect the dots basically Mascara. I'm going to go for Bad Gal Bang today, which is the new Benefit one. Um, I quite like it. It's just a very wet formula. So do be careful with it. Don't put too much on, otherwise you get spider lashes. But if you do it right, it looks amazing. Uh, and for now, I'm going to use MAC Whirl as my lippy. Uh, just because I don't want anything too heavy. Because I'm going to be drinking a lot of drinks at the cocktail making class. And I don't want to have to worry about keep putting it back on. MAC Stone would also go very nicely with the outfit I'm going to wear. But this is kind of like a really nice uh, mid-brown natural lipstick. I'll show you. It is honestly one of my faves to have in your handbag just as a go-to lipstick. It's not... <laughs> you can wear it on your teeth as well if you want final piece of face paint is highlighter and this is my favourite favourite palette. It's the Pixie Dolce Candy palette. It's amazing and I want a really warm highlight on today. There we go. <laughs> Get it on screen Amelia. Uh, so I'm going to go for the two warmest colours in the corner. Oh this palette is just dreams. I love it. I have a bit of a thing for highlighters. I enjoy them a lot uh, and this palette is one of my faves. 
I'm pretty happy with my face. I think we look all right today. Definitely better than we did before. So now I'm gonna release the hair and I'm gonna show you how I dry it and how I style it for a night out. I look really weird with my lipstick on. I don't normally put my lipstick on now. I'll wait till I go out, but I'm like full on ready to go, weird. Um, so at the moment, the hair dryer I'm using is the Nikki Clark Super Shine. I like it because it's really powerful. Um, I also like the GHD one that I have. Um, yeah, they're just really powerful and they cut through thick hair. Um, very quickly so it makes a blow dry pretty sharpish so I just basically blast it dry and then I'll show you what I do after that microfiber towels are a really good little tip you can get them off Amazon I'll try and find one and leave a link down below um, but they're great if you just put your hair in that woge and your makeup it starts to suck out a lot of the moisture because they're like super super absorbent <laughs> now it's nearly completely dry um i started to section it off and i just use a barrel brush to give it a bit of volume i guess now i actually need a smaller barrel brush i got this one from macadamia uh years and years ago and it's amazing because it's so so big and it was really really good for my long hair i actually need a smaller one now because my hair isn't as long but it still does a job i just haven't got around to buying a smaller one just yet And there we go blow dried all nice and dry it feels super bouncy um and do you know what i was gonna curl it but i think i'm gonna keep it straight today so i'm gonna show you how i straighten it to get that kind of rachel green uh 90s look to your hair so I get a lot of comments on my hair colour on my Instagram and on here. If you're not following on Instagram, by the way, go and follow. I'll leave the link down below. I am at xameliax. It would be lovely to have you. Um, but I get a lot of comments on the hair colour. And I, to be honest, I love my hair colour right now. This is actually a sombre, which is a soft ombre. It's kind of like a root stretch that goes down into more of, yeah, softer, kind of longer ombre. I've got a blog post all about it uh, with the exact colours that my hairdresser used as well. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link down below. Um, or if I forget to do that, you can go onto my blog, which is the link down there, and just search for sombre and you'll find it. But yeah, I absolutely love the colour at the moment. I think it's like super summery and bang on trend. And it looks really nice with kind of short, well, I guess we're virgin on mid-length hair now. It's really grown. Oh my goodness. So the best way to get that lovely kind of curled under look with your straightening iron is to straighten it but have it at a bit of an angle. Let me see if I can show you. It's hard on the bottom layers because they're really short. So you pop it in and then just have it at a slight turned under angle. You don't need to get to the end and then flip it under you just do the whole thing in kind of like a curve maybe it will show you better on this side or when I get to the top layers so when I wear it like this I tend to just give it um just a bit of a ruffle around I guess just to break it up a little bit so it's not like super uh poker straight and you can either tuck it behind your ears you can flip it over um, and I tend to give it a spray with a really light salt spray which is this one from uh Matrix it's called Mess Maker and it's not as heavy as the one I normally use when I've got my curls in but this do it from quite a distance away because you don't want loads on there but it's got like a nice little mist salty mist it smells amazing oh my god and then just give it a little bit of a just to play around and it just it gives it a bit of texture salt sprays gigs it gives it a little bit of texture you still want it to be really nice and straight so you get that kind of curve but you just want to break it up a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural and that's it let's get the outfit on and show you the finished product Ta-da! 
here is my outfit guys i absolutely love it oh my goodness i'm so into animal print at the moment and it's bang on trend this top is perfect for anybody with a fuller bust because it is a wrap top wrap tops wrap dresses they are our friends but also it's got these amazing fluty sleeves and the best part is it's from primark it was like 13 pounds for a top and it actually feels really good quality it ties at the back as you can see there and it's just super super flattering and i have teamed it with this really simple jersey midi skirt this actually was from Boohoo or ASOS I think ages ago but everywhere always sells and they seem to be like a real wardrobe staple I've got it for khaki green because I kind of liked the whole like natural theme throughout this outfit I feel like I'm on safari uh, and I've got these amazing little shoes and you can see them going so far away and um, these amazing shoes from ASOS as well they were 11 12 pounds I think and I got them in black and also nude because they're really beautiful um, and they just tie all the way up the leg there's loads of different ways you can tie them and I've just got this little wicker bag which are all the rage at the moment this actually comes from a company called house of wicker you can buy it online uh, but there was also loads of them in Bali like genuinely have a look on eBay or Amazon you can find them in all different colors but I just kind of like it because I don't need a big bag tonight so I thought I'm gonna go for a statement piece and be super in fashion. I feel super cool in this outfit, I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, I was feeling a little bit insecure about my belly, which I know a lot of people find when you wear these tight skirts. However, with a top like this, with the fluty sleeves, we really need to cinch in at the bottom and sort of show that we have got a figure. Otherwise, if we wear a baggy bottom, it could look like we're just all one big mass of material. So if you're gonna wear a baggy bottom, you could wear a fit and flare skirt, but something that cinches in around the waist still, and then uh, flies out over those hips. But a jersey skirt, a kind of like pencil skirt like this, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Gives you a really, really nice shape. And yeah, I just love it. I love the colors together, super natural. I feel amazing, I can't wait. Maybe I might meet my Prince Charming, who knows? So that is it, that is my get ready with me for cocktail night slash first date. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did and you are new, click that subscribe button, stick around for a while. We've got loads more of these videos on this channel. And also make sure you come and follow me on Instagram. So there's loads of style inspiration on there and I really think you'll enjoy it. So head over there, I'm at xameliax. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon, bye!